classic cars always make me happy. The way they look, the way they drive, the way they smell. But it's not until you start looking a little bit closer that sometimes you realise that they have their many issues. Do we have more of a problem with the Mercedes W124? And this is a well-known problem in the estates, which I didn't find out until I bought it and actually found this issue. And then started looking more into it, as you can see very very rusty around the windows that is no bloody good is it and it is going to be a lot of work which begs the question how far do i take this project the best thing to do would be to remove the window remove the seal around the window cut all the rust out and then put new metal in weld it in repaint but like the seals alone if you want to buy new are 566 pounds each it's just not doable for the value of the car so what I'm going to do is go around with a wire brush and I'm just going to take as much of the rust off as possible and go from there. I think it makes sense to start with this side because this is the worst side. Then I will end up respraying it with Dinit Troll. But yeah, it should go quite far into the rust and hopefully convert some of, <laughs> if there's any of the uh, metal left, back into metal. I'm hoping that I can save it. It's not looking good though. See, this is a telltale sign that something is not right when your screws are so rusty. There you go. Half the screws, but you got no screw on it. Ooh, I don't like the look of that. Why did I look? This is what I'm seeing. That is not very nice at all. This is what we are dealing with here. The water is obviously coming in really badly under all of this. That's doing literally nothing. Oh, oh, oh. guys, this is getting worse by the second. The plan was to fix any rust by hopefully giving it a bit of a chance, but there's practically no metal there now. Look at it. This is not good. The only problem at the minute is that I cannot actually use the rust converter because it's too cold and it won't do what it's supposed to do. It's actually, I think I've just seen some little bit of snow falling. So it's around zero degrees and there's a lot of wind chill and it's just too cold to use the rust converter. But I just wanted to show you a bit of an update as to the rust kind of that is going on in the car and this is my biggest worry at the moment i want to try and get the rear of the car kind of in some kind of health don't want it to end up rotting away and rotting out to the outside of the arches because that would be a bigger job altogether i'm going to leave it there i thank you very much for watching just a bit of an update i've also got some good news the audi a8 has finally got its mot booked in for thursday it's tuesday today so in two days time should be on the road.